going off to London to see the tall ships. A big ship regatta, so this should be fun. Just getting some petrol, or gas as you call it in America. Ships that over there is the Royal Naval Academy. In the middle, you can see the Queen's House, and on the top of the hill, you can see uh, the observatory at Greenwich. The foot tunnel to Greenwich. Haven supporter. Here's a London tug. Look, look, look. <laughs> That's a really little one. Yeah, yeah. That's a little fishing boat. <laughs> it's a little piece of main sail. Splice the main brace. Okay, look, it's a proper pirate ship. This is the uh, proper pirate looking ship. Okay, this is the proper looking pirate ship. It's Black Pearl, where's Jack? Look at that thing, it's amazing. Oh, that's the River Princess. The Royal Princess was an old First World War hospital ship. Okay, a lot of these river boats you can see are very, very old. They operated uh, as hospital ships during the First World War. And then after the, uh, after the war, they um, became pleasure craft. And they've been working the river for the last 80, 90 years. So quite interesting. This pirate ship, um, you can see the construction. It looks very unstable. Um, and they were often prone to toppling over in heavy seas. They used to roll about a bit. And uh, seasickness on these things was uh, part of the course, normal. There's the old river police over there. Been chased by them many a time. Further down river, so we can get a clear, unobstructed view of the boats. And as you can see, there's nobody here. These, this is the advantage of having local knowledge. You find places that no one's going to go to, and you've got an unobstructed shooting angle, which is nice. See over my shoulder. It's something that you, my American uh, viewers, will recognise. It's a uh, paddle steamer from America. It's called the Dixie Queen, and uh, you see these all down Louisiana, and down the Mississippi, all that kind of thing. Gambling boats. So yeah, I'm sure you recognise this kind of thing. Beautiful, eh? Anyway, that's the Dixie Queen, and the other one behind it is the Tolkien. It's actually named after the uh, author of the Lord of the Rings and uh, Hobbit. Lovely boat. The boat you can see in the background is a Thames sailing barge. These were very, very common uh, back in the day. And uh, there used to be thousands of these things running up and down. They'd unload the ships onto these Thames sailing barges, and these sailing barges would take all the goods all over the country. There's not many of them left now. Okay, this boat behind me is the Artemis. It's a French flag boat, as you can see. Big French flag on the back of it. I think that's French anyway. But um, yeah, that was that's like a sailing yacht. I don't think you'd carry much cargo or anything like that. Who knows? Yeah, this little boat, you see? This is like the same size as the uh, boat that Christopher Columbus used to go off and uh, find America. You know, there's a big um, debate about whether he found it first because the Vikings apparently had been there several hundred years beforehand but this is the kind of little boat that they went over the uh, the Atlantic in yeah they must have been very brave people that's all I can say this is the blue bridge on the Isle of Dogs and this is where in the 1970s the Isle of Dogs community 
blockaded the road and declared independence from Britain. And they had a standoff for two weeks while negotiations took place, uh, where they said, no, you can't declare independence just because you're an island. <laughs> but they tried it.